Good morning. I am Pramiti Prasad, Director of Public Libraries Division. I welcome you to the library on this World Read Aloud Day. On this day, all over the world, boys and girls like you have come together to read aloud, either through listening to stories, reading a book, or singing aloud to words from storybooks. Through reading, you can gain knowledge and see the world beyond your immediate surroundings. And what about those of you who are going to write books yourself? It begins with reading. At NALIS, we are committed to helping you on your journey of fun through reading and other learning activities. We are also here to let you know that when you learn the lessons that your teachers teach you in this classroom, in your classroom, and use them with reading, this will help you to excel at your studies and life in general. You can get books and engage in other fun learning activities at your library. Today, February 1st, is World Read Aloud Day. Working with the Ministry of Education and Hudder Education Publishing, it's an honor for me to read to you a West Indian story. The story is taken from Caribbean Comprehension, an Integrated Skill-Based Approach. The name of the story is A Friend to the Animals. The Father of the Forest. One day, a group of young hunters set off into the forest with their bows and arrows. They wanted to shoot some deer and some birds for fun. Let's see who can shoot the most birds, said one. Let's see who can shoot the biggest deer, said another. They walked for about an hour. They shoot a few birds. Then suddenly, they saw a huge deer between the trees. The deer was huge, with magnificent big antlers. Quietly, they stalked the deer, following it deeper and deeper into the forest. They followed it for about 20 minutes. I have never been this far into this forest, said one hunter. Shh, said another, he'll hear us. Further and further they went. They got closer and closer to the deer. Now it's time to shoot, said one hunter. Just as they were about to shoot their arrows, the deer disappeared. Where the deer had been was an old man. The man had a beard of leaves. There was hair all over his body, and his feet were not an ordinary feet. They were hooves, like the hooves of a goat. Who? Oh, what is that? Where did the deer go? said one of the hunters. Shh, it's Papa Boa, whispered one. You know the father of the forest? Don't look at his feet, whispered another. That will make him very angry. Just greet him politely. Boja vous, Papa, they said. What are you doing here? bellowed the old man. Why did you shoot those birds? Why were you stalking that deer? Don't you know that you should respect the animals in the forest? You should not destroy them? Sorry, view papa, they all said together. We, we, we just wanted... Now go home, said the old man. I don't let me catch you here again. Remember, I'm a friend of the animals and I will protect them. And don't touch any of the plants in the forest either. Terrified, the boys dropped their bows and arrow and ran all the way home. I hope you enjoy this story. Continue to read and visit your nearest library. <laughs>